Hey, Aspire fam, I'm here with our member, Pablo, and the first thing I want to know is, why did you choose Aspire? Uh, so I actually had worked with you before I joined Aspire, mm -hmm. so I've been an Aspire member for two years, Yeah, and I had uh, worked with you online, co mm -hmm. online coaching for a year before that, and before that, I was uh, I was always working out. I was in hit studios, hit gyms mm -hmm. uh, for like 10, 12 years or whatever. And mm -hmm. but what I was finding out it was that it was becoming very repetitive. It was becoming the same thing over and over again. So um, once I like started talking with you and working with you, I was like, oh, let's you know, CrossFit. I don't know about CrossFit is guys flipping tires and guys just doing crazy things. <laughs> and that was always like what I envisioned in my head what CrossFit was like. And, you know, one of the things that I, the reason why I joined here was because like every time I spoke with you, like you never, you were never, were selling me on this. You were mm -hmm. kind of like checking in. How you doing? Yeah. Hey, you went on a trip. That's cool. And I was like, why does this guy keep messaging me? Like, it's so <laughs> weird. But like, you know, I was like, all right, let's give it a try. Let's like step out of my comfort zone a little bit. And I got hooked, you know, like I was the first class I did. I was like trying to keep up with everybody. I was like. Okay, this is intense. Like, I yeah. kind of like it. Yeah. You know, a little bit of pain. That's, that's pretty cool. <clears throat> but, you know, as it progressed, like, I really enjoy the ambiance here. Like, mm -hmm. working out with the people here are incredible. Like, everybody's very diverse. Everybody comes from different backgrounds. But mm -hmm. what I love about it is there's no egos. There's no, uh, I'm better than you. Like, it's mm -hmm. just like, if you're a seasoned athlete, like, you do your thing. Mm -hmm. We support each other. And we're all just here on each, everybody has their own journey and everybody's just right. doing what they want, you know, and what they want to achieve for that day or for their, for their goals. So yeah. that's kind of why I fell in love with CrossFit. And it was, uh, I really do take into heart that CrossFit meets you where you are. Mm -hmm. So, cause I was trying to go where CrossFit, I think CrossFit was. Yeah. yeah. And I just kind of flipped and I was like, no, this is where I'm at. Mm -hmm. I want to do that, but I might have to scale down a little bit. So I'm going to work up to it. So mm -hmm. that's been kind of the cool thing and why i really enjoy it is every, every day is different every mm -hmm. day the functionality is different every week is different every month is different so mm -hmm. it keeps it uh buried where i'm not bored yeah. where i was previously before that's Gosh. kind of the beauty and the curse in a way it's like anytime we finally master something yeah we still kind of suck at something else yeah yeah which is great good and bad yeah. as long as you're in the right mindset Absolutely. of like always wanting to push and always want to be better yeah. and it's funny you mentioned the tires because so many people have told me they're like yeah, oh, you own a CrossFit or, oh, you, you own that gym. Like, I, I don't want to flip tires. And it, it's funny because we, have we ever flipped the tires? Nah, never. I, I, I've had tires at one point, but they get so dirty and they yeah. are outside and it's, they're a pain. Yeah. So I actually had an ROTC a couple, like six months ago ask if they could have our tires. And I was like, great, take them, please, because like we never use them. Well, the first time I came here, I actually saw a tire outside and I was yeah. like, oh, God, there's a tire. And, <laughs> I was like, all right, let's just. They're my let's, worst. Let's, my worst let's nightmare through, has let's been just confirmed. Go past it and I've never flipped a tire here. <laughs> yeah, you know, that's, it's that's funny. It. So many people have told me that. I'm like, yeah, we never do that. Like, <laughs> if that if that's what you're scared of, then yeah. that fear is immediately gone. Yeah. Um, not to say that I don't think flipping a tire is good. Yeah. The reason I got rid of ours is that they're just dirty. They're just dirty, and they're hard to keep clean because they're outdoors. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So, like, you don't want to keep them. I'm inside. not going to wash them every yeah. time. Yeah. Um, that's too tough. So, um, I know recently in particular you've had some awesome accomplishments. It is you know, do you want to share anything about that? Yeah. So <clears throat> I've, I'm down about 30 pounds since awesome. April. Okay. So, uh, it's been a really, really awesome journey. I've always loved working out. Mm -hmm. Uh, that's never been my problem. Yeah. Um, my problem has always been nutrition and mm -hmm. like trying to figure out what I'm supposed to be eating, what I'm not supposed to be eating. Mm -hmm. And, you know, I think in, I'm, I'm an emotional eater. I'm a stress eater. Mm -hmm. I love food. Mm -hmm. Uh, so for me, like food is a great treat. Mm -hmm. Um, but, it's something I can't have every day, right? So um, just a few months ago, I was like, okay, I need to like just figure this out because like it was really affecting my sleep. It was affecting my mood. It was affecting my workout. So mm -hmm. I decided to just kind of like work with you. And I was like, hey, let me scale this and try to figure out I'm getting older. You know, I, I don't want to be uh, sick in a year, two, three years from now. Mm -hmm. So that was always been my big thing uh, with food. And, you know, working with you, you know, as I said, we had worked in the past about a year ago, two years ago with nutrition. And mm -hmm. I remember that how that was. And and going back to it, you mm -hmm. know, a few months ago, like it was still difficult because you were scaling back from what you think you were doing, doing good to like what you should be doing. Mm -hmm. And um, it was it was a challenge. But mm -hmm. like you get into the mood, you get into the 
into the rhythm of doing things. And then you're kind of like, you see results and you feel better about yourself. You sleep yeah. better. Um, <clears throat> my workouts are definitely much better, more efficient. Yeah. Um, and yeah, there's days that I still like indulge, right? Like I, I think it's, it's not, it's not, uh, you always have that cheat day. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And it's, and I appreciate it. But yeah. like at the same time, it was like after I do that cheat day, the next day I'm kind of like, uh, I feel sluggish. Yeah. A little bit. So I kind of do keep that in the back of my mind. Mm -hmm. And I'm not saying that every week is easy. Like there's some weeks, like, especially with my job, it's just mm -hmm. very diverse schedule. So it's trying to adapt to that. And mm -hmm. I think that we have seen that in the past few weeks where like there's some really, really good weeks. And there's some weeks that are not so great, okay. but it's like as long as the trajectory is just down. Correct. That's the biggest that's thing. That's the biggest yeah. thing that I always try to focus on. Totally. Because ultimately, <laughs> if the trajectory was flat or even slightly up, but, you know, mm -hmm. ultimately just down, you know, you know, th that's at the end of the year. Yeah. That's going to give you the most results. I Absolutely. mean, if we look at like the stock market, you know, the stock market goes ups and down. But what happens over a 10 year period right. or one year period? It, it almost always goes in the direction that people want it to yeah. go. The same thing goes with your weight and your body fat and your overall just fitness. As long as, you know, you're going to have those ups and downs. Right. It looks like this. That's yeah. the problem. But as long as it's going down, down, yeah. you know, that's, that's what truly matters. But staying focused on that's really hard. Yeah. Is there one change in particular, either mentally with your food or physically within your food, maybe a swap you've made that has made some of the biggest impact on you? I always just try to focus more on protein, to be honest. Um, <clears throat> even if I can't round up my meal to have a carb, a veggie, and a protein, like, mm -hmm. I'll try to focus on protein. Okay. Uh, so, like, if that's all I can get for that one meal, especially on uh, in the event management industry, it's mm -hmm. super difficult to actually sit down and eat. Mm -hmm. You have to eat when you can. Yeah. It's either having uh, the Quest bars or whatever protein that you have on mm -hmm. hand, and that's just on the go. Yeah. Uh, and then when you can eat, like try to focus on that, uh, especially when at shows we have catering, which they have a spread of food and it's mm -hmm. really, really good food. It's kind of like, okay, I can't eat the cake mm -hmm. today. Or if I do eat the cake today, like I can't have it no, that's tomorrow. Your that's your meal exactly. Yeah. So it's thinking about those things that really makes a difference. And it's like, yeah. how can I apply that? Like if I eat today, mm -hmm. tomorrow, I can't have that. So mm -hmm. it's always nice that in the week to be able to say hey on saturday i'm gonna go eat here and that's gonna be what i'm gonna look forward to mm -hmm. and that's like my anchor for for the week so but that mindset's really important too because ultimately i think people sometimes get a little stuck in that like i can't do this today and i want to do it mm -hmm. so just eff it i'm gonna do it anyways yeah. and then they think their whole week is blown yeah when in really in reality if you did want that cake then mm -hmm. you can have it yeah but you're getting to give up that other day. Exactly. You know, so, but that is flexible because sometimes you see something yeah. and you're like, yeah, yeah, I want that today and right. I want that now. Cool. You could totally yeah. have it. You just need to make sure your, your day or your week is just balanced yeah. out one way or and another. It's also really interesting too. It's like when you go out to eat, it's like you want to eat everything off the menu, right? But it's kind of like, okay, well, it's just, you know, whole enchilada, for example, or whatever it is. This is not a sponsor ad. Uh, <laughs> but you know, it's like, okay, I, I can go to this type of restaurant and be like, what do they have on the menu that I could eat that's not drenched in sauces or cheeses or, uh, you know, how, how can I make those substitutions mm -hmm. where I can still enjoy that type of food, but not necessarily indulge in what I want to eat. Yeah. And that does take sometimes a little bit more education um, to know like what what's a better choice and yeah. what's not. Um, I encourage people to use like ChatGPT or another, like uh, to figure things out, like what would be the best thing on the menu yeah. for me? You know, there's a lot of things, but also just like you said too, restaurants are restaurants, right? They make all these foods. Mm -hmm. They can also make other stuff. Yeah. You know, a, a plate with chicken and rice and this and that can make a plain chicken breast mm -hmm. with steamed broccoli and rice, you know? So that's something I encourage too to people to like look into like, all right, there's nothing on the menu I really feel like is going to align with how I want to eat today. So let me just ask. Can I just get grilled chicken? Yeah. Cool. They have it. They, they do. It's on, it's on something. Yeah. And it might be on a salad that's drenched with a terrible dressing, but you can get it another way. Yeah. That's awesome. And, um, so I know you mentioned earlier, like the community around Aspire, uh, kind of being supportive and, and, you know, meeting you where you're at. How else would you describe the community and how have they helped you in your journey so um, far? You know, it's been, like I said, it's a very diverse group of people. Uh, different backgrounds. I, that was the other thing about CrossFit that I always had in the back of my mind that I thought mm -hmm. it was just a bunch of meatheads flipping tires, grunting, and you know, I'm better than you and mm -hmm. competition. And it's really not that. From the first day that I 
came to try the class, like I was nervous, but like I felt so welcome. And even though like there are days when I don't uh, lift heavy or my night go as fast, Mm -hmm. there's still somebody out there saying, Hey, almost done. Hey, keep going. Mm -hmm. Hey, you know, and for me, like I love that encouragement. Mm -hmm. Uh, I have never been one to work out by myself at Mm -hmm. uh, at just a single gym, Mm -hmm. but um, I love the community aspect of working out. And I think Mm -hmm. that here it's always, no matter what class you take, when you come, Mm -hmm. even if they don't know you, like Mm -hmm. somebody's always going to support you. And that's what I love about it. I felt super welcome from the first day Mm -hmm. that I joined from the coaches, from the members that they were like, oh, you know, if they saw that I was doing something wrong, they'd be like, hey, you know, you might want to try this. And I was like, oh, okay, that's cool. Like, and you just have to be open uh, to feedback and just be humble to be mm-hmm. like, sometimes I can't lift heavy. Sometimes I can't go as fast. Yeah. And that's okay. And sometimes you can. And it's just always, I, I like the pay it forward mm-hmm. um, aspect of things. So like, if I felt encouraged, like when somebody else comes in here, I'm going to be like, hey, right. you're doing a good job. You do hey, the same thing. try yeah. this. So yeah. I think that that's what makes this community thrive. Mm-hmm. And that makes me keep wanting to come back. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And that's great that we can be that kind of support system for you. And, you know, to me, obviously, as a gym owner, the, the gym is so important for a lot of reasons, whether it's physical health, obviously, but also mental health, which are a lot of the things that you're saying right now. Um, but the main reason we're here is not, you know, in my opinion, doesn't necessarily happen between these walls. It's, you know, how it translates to our life outside mm-hmm. of the gym. Um, have you noticed any changes outside of the gym in terms of your life and since you've, you know, lost this weight or just become fitter in general? Yeah. Um, I mean, I work in a field where I'm behind a desk, but also I have to be on my feet, have to be lifting chairs, have to be lifting tables. Mm-hmm. And to be able to do those things outside of uh, the gym mm-hmm. and not be winded and not throw my back out or anything like that, yeah. it's always uh, helpful. Uh, I, my coworkers laugh at me because I will lift things as if I'm lifting things here in the gym. Well, I was going to say, you better be lifting those like <laughs> things with good deadlift form. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, you, should. Like, yeah. you know, if I'm carrying groceries, it's like, you know, uh, farmer carries or whatever exactly, it is. Exactly. Yeah. So they laugh at me like, why are you working? I'm like, no, this is like, I don't want to throw my back out. I don't want to throw my arm out. But it's also just out. proper movement. Exactly. Yeah. So like yeah. I lift things with my legs. I lift things cool. so you're not using my back. So That's it's awesome. like, it looks funny to somebody who's not in the, in, Correct. in, in working out, but it's helpful. It, like, I mean, it's been, I had a back injury before I joined mm-hmm. CrossFit and I think you and I talked about it and I was able to work through it. And because of focusing on proper form, mm-hmm. Like, I feel like I'm more efficient in my movements here and outside the gym. So yeah, yeah. it does help not to get hurt. <laughs> yeah. But I'll tell you what, that is so important to remember because the vast majority of injuries we've had from our members have happened outside of the gym mm-hmm. doing things like that without yeah. proper form. Yeah. Like uh, gardening yeah. or like mulch. And yeah. I'm like, a bag of mulch isn't that heavy compared yeah. to what you lift here. I'm like, yeah, I just didn't li- I lifted it with my back, not yeah. with proper form. I'm like, just do a deadlift. <laughs> You'd have been fine, you know? Um, but that's great that you kind of, like, connect those dots Yeah, together. no, it's just funny, too, because, like, now you t- talk about uh, bags of mulches, mulch bags. It's like, I grab it and I flip it like I'm actually doing Wait, a sandbag. Sand sand yeah, I put it on my back, <laughs> yeah. and I was like, whatever, I'm going to get dirty, but yeah, my back's will. intact. Exactly. So. <laughs> that's awesome. Well, I mean, thank you so much for sharing your journey so far, it, it, you know, just Till now, there's a lot more to come. Is there anything else you want to share right now? No, I'm just super thankful to be here. I, I, I love coming here. I love the coaches. I love the members. And it's been such a welcoming experience. It's been here, like I said, about two years now. Um, so, and it's, it's, I felt like when I finally committed to being here is when I started seeing results mm-hmm. and growth. Mm-hmm. So I would encourage anybody who's trying out or thinking about CrossFit. Mm-hmm. Do not let it intimidate them. Mm-hmm. It's a really, really great way to get back in shape because mm-hmm. it's not what people think it is, mm-hmm. but it really is just a way to kind of train your body to live life, yeah. not necessarily just to like lift weights. Yeah. So love it. definitely try it well, out. Thank you so much for being part of our fam. You're such an amazing part of <laughs> our gym and, and our 830 class and whatever class you attend, you elevate everybody around you. Oh, so. thanks. Thanks for letting me be here and be a part of this. Totally, man. Absolutely. Thanks again, man. Absolutely.